Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. Now, the other day I put up some pictures of these completed lava pools, which I painted as slime pools, on Facebook, and a couple of people asked how I did it. First of all, I'll point out that these are resin pieces, as you can see if I flip them over. Look at that. Lovely and shiny resin. These are from War Gamma. I'll put a link underneath if you want to buy some. The reason I bought these, at Adepticon I was walking around and they immediately caught my eye, and then I saw only $12 for these three. And they are quite sizable. So, for $12, which is what, seven or eight pounds? You don't normally get much for that amount of money in the hobby these days. With some companies you're lucky to get one miniature for that. You're lucky to get half a miniature for that with some companies. So I thought they were very good value, so I snapped up the last ones. As far as painting them, I'm not sure that many people need to know about the rocky effects, but I'll let you know just in case. It was just basic grey, then a black wash over that, and then some dry brushing of white. Not too heavy, you don't want to go too mad with that. Just a little bit over the raised areas. And then after that a matte varnish over the top, just to make sure there's no shine there and to protect the paint from over you get wargamer fingers. But presumably most people wanted to know how I did the slime effect. And in fact it's embarrassingly simple. First of all it's just a matter of colouring it green in some way. I did this by airbrushing. I believe it was Vallejo IDF green, which I think I mixed with some white. But any green will do, really. That's not the important part. The important part is... Tamir Clear Green. This has a consistency to it, so if you really blob it on all over the place, it will pool like this, which is exactly what I wanted for a slime pool. So you can see, in some areas, it's quite light. Other areas where I just dabbed on huge amounts of it, it doesn't run evenly because it's quite thick, unless you spread it out manually, which I didn't do, obviously, because that's not the look I was going for. And then after that, just to make it even shinier, I applied a layer of gloss varnish to all the slime. So there you go. Incredibly simple. And incredibly cheap. I'm definitely going to be keeping my eye on the Wargamma terrain section in the future. They have got a couple of other things I may think about picking up as well, there's some nice lakes. I'm trying to broaden my terrain horizons a little bit, since pretty much everything I've had up to now has been fantasy terrain. I'm trying to get some more multi-purpose stuff that I'll be able to use for other game genres as well, and I think a slime pool fits that bill nicely. So, there you go, the secret to this slimy look. Tamiya Clear Green. And it smells pretty good too. Ta-ta.